Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video, and today we're taking a deep dive look at the Fantic X9 Ace Power Bike Pump. I actually did a video recently where I showed off their X8 Power Bike Pump. I'm a big fan of these products. They're a mini portable, rechargeable, uh, pretty much air compressor for you to take on the go or to pump up bikes while you travel. I've been using the X8 here in the bicycle store recently, and I showed off all the pros and cons about that one. But in today's video, this is all about the X9 Ace, which this one is meant specifically for bicycles, whereas the other one that I showed off was more of an all-purpose. But this thing literally has a whole swivel arm with connections for a straighter and press the valve. So in today's video, we'll talk about all the pros and cons of this, talk about the weight of this thing, because obviously it is a little bit more heavier than a standard CO2 inflator and a, and, um, and a tire lever, but it is a little bit heavier than that, but it does have a lot of benefits in terms of rechargeability, uh, amount of uses per each one, and also just, I use this for like my pre-rise for the X8 all the time. So I will talk to you guys about this all in specifics. And I'll show you guys examples as well. So Fantic was kind enough to send this out. I will have a big discount code down below for this thing. I think they have a, a huge discount code on Amazon, which would be like 34% off the product or it'll be linked down below. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video. All right, so a little bit of product details on this specific model right here. This is the X9 Ace, like I mentioned before. And this is known for the bicycle system specific pump like i said two buttons on here you have the power button right here and then the plus and minus for the adjustment of the psi on here and go all the way up to 150 psi if needed as we know a lot of cyclists are typically running a lower psi so i just kind of have this set to 85 psi as is right now you have this whole 360 degree swivel arm with a 120 degree uh, swivel arm for your valve adapters or valve connectors right here they have a straighter valve and a press to valve set up if you needed to. So you can use it for not only your hybrid bikes or your kid bikes at home, but you can also use it for your road bikes and performance and mountain bikes at home as well. So all you have to do is disconnect right here, screw on the press to valve adapter right here. And now you have the straighter valve attachment on the top and the press to valve adapter on the bottom. So literally these are all the two valves that you would need on here and no more needed a straighter valve adapter, which was nice that I needed on the other X8 as well. So this is a very nice, I basically just keep this on the press valve set up to set up and blow up on my bicycle tires. But again, I don't just use this. Everyone thinks this is just a replacement for a the CO2 pumps at home, like, like an emergency situation like these right here. So typically whenever I used to ride, I used to ride with two of these and the nozzle on here as well. They're replaceable. They're a one-time use. After you use them, you do have to buy new ones. A pack of these for a pack of six is like 20 bucks. The head for this thing is about $20 right there. So if you're using and you're going through flats more and more, it's going to get expensive over the years, whereas this hobby or this thing right here is $35, and this can be used for at-home pumping up and just topping off your pressure as well. Being it has a digital gauge on here, you guys can see when you start up, it has accuracy up to 1 PSI, so that way you don't have to guess with a pump gauge. So I just put up to 85 PSI, connect it to my press valve tire, set it and forget it, and then I get my stuff ready while making my water bottles at home and everything like that. And the weight difference between this one and some of this is not that big of a difference. Yes, it is heavier. It's a little bit more bulkier and cumbersome. But the benefit of this is that you can get 20 psi, 26 pump-ups between 80 PSI and 100 PSI like refills. So let's say you ride your bicycle at 85 PSI. It goes down to 80. You check back tomorrow. Go, you pump it back up to 85. You can get 26 of those times before you have to recharge it. And you can get eight full refills from 0 to 100 on one charge battery. It's a 5,000 milliamp ba uh, battery. You have a little LED indication right here. White means it's 50% or above battery. Orange means it's 50 to 20%. And red means it's 20% or below. So you have your battery indication. All the things you need, less is more on this device. It's very, very simple. And to have an air compressor, it works really, really well. Let me go ahead and wait, compare it to these two to show you guys an idea. Like I said, you can put this inside the back of your jersey pocket and you can take it with you. I myself just basically use it for filling up tires before I go, but it's your choice is yours. Let me go ahead and put this on the scale itself. And also, again, we sell a ton of these things, or, or believe it or not, we have customers come into our store all the time that complain that the pumps that we have, the hand pumps that we have to pump up bicycle tires at 85 PSI, 90 PSI, whatever it is, sometimes it's an older person, sometimes it's an older woman, sometimes it's just someone who has health issues. It's hard to get that much PSI in such a skinny amount of volume. So once you get up to that 80 PSI, 70 PSI mark, it's hard to get your weight over there and get it. This as well will help with that if you do have those issues. So this is a great replacement. You literally press a button and it goes. But right now, let's go ahead and see the weight of here. But you guys will be really surprised at how many times people come into my store and ask me for a easier pump setup 
for that situation. So the head and the two CO2s right there are 144 grams. Okay, let's go ahead and see this right here. So it says 386 grams. It is definitely heavier. Obviously, probably double the amount of weight, probably, if not more. But again, it's something you can keep. Like I said, you're riding a hybrid bike or a mountain bike, you have that option for it. But now let's go ahead and show you an example of how to use this thing. I'll show you guys, it's got a little skit for you. Oh, also inside the box, it does come with a USB-C type charger, which is right there, a cord, and then also the instruction manuals for this bike, uh, for this product as well. Okay, so this is just this is just a, a reenactment. No actors were hurt during this dramatization reenactment. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, I can't wait to go out and, on, and ride my bike with my mates on the bunch ride. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, what the heck? Crocky. I think i got a puncture in my front tubi. Let me take a look at this thing. Oh, jeez. It was probably when I was over there winning the KOM on Strava. But let, no worries. I could change this out real quick. I watched a couple of GC performance videos. Give me one second. Let me make sure my wife didn't touch my bike. Babe, I told you if you touch the bike again, I'm going to cancel your Amazon subscription. I don't care, okay? Don't touch my bike. All right, me and my mates are going out tonight. Really showed her. All right, cool. I got the whole tire fixed. Now all I have to do is just set up my my tire with my, uh, the tube is changed. You guys saw it, change the tube. All I gotta do is just screw on the, the press the valve adapter or the, the press the valve hook onto the front tube. And it just threads right onto that press the valve like a cat, all right? Then what we'll do is press and hold down this button right here. It's going to turn on. It's going to give me a little number, 85. That's the number I want to be at for this. And obviously, we can change this around a little bit so it's not as bad. And then we just hit the... Now, I'm not going to make you guys watch all this. I'm just going to... I'm going to show you in time lapse. It's 85 PS high, that's right there. And that's how easy it is to do all the dishes and all the laundry in the house. I don't know why you're always talking to me like it's so difficult. I just did it so quickly like a Strava on, on like a KOM and Strava. Oh, my bike tie's done. Beautiful, let me take this thing off. Just like my mates. And that's it, unscrew like that. Wow, I'm so happy now I can go ride with my mates. This has been a great experience. No, but on a serious note, that was a that was a time lapse video, and it was about in real time, about a minute twenty seconds to pump up all the way from zero psi to eighty five psi. And in all seriousness, you're not going to be doing that every single time. It held on; it's still above fifty percent battery life. It's going to do it uh, eight times. It says total before it starts to go into the battery needs to be recharged in there. So it's a very good machine in terms of quality. Quality. Fantix's been around; they do a ton of other different things. They even have car pumps, but you can keep this in your car for your for your car tire, because it works for straighter valve, for your bike tire, whatever you like to be. And in today's day and age, with hookless tires being such a specific PSI, or even these Silka uh, tire pressure reading charts, or Envy tire pressure reading charts, you want charts, you want to be right up, or uh, at least plus or minus one PSI for that. Uh, it makes sense to have a nice digital quality air PSI checker to get up there. So from 80 to 85 PSI, from 75 to 85 PSI, this thing will get the job done every single time, and you don't have to use a pump. I know it's one more thing to charge, but literally... I think us as human beings have gotten so used to charging things now that it's become almost second nature, which is pretty sad. But um, I'm telling you, I, I barely use a pump anymore. I have this one. I also have the other one, which I use for like my RV tires. These things work great for how small they are, how convenient they are. To pump up that much PSI is a really, really big game changer. So very happy with it. So I will put a link down below where to buy this, uh, the Fantic X9 Ace. Like I mentioned before, it's a bigger battery, 5,000 milliamp. Um, you can use it eight times from zero to 100 PSI. You can use it 26 times from 80 to 100 PSI going back and forth. Um, and yeah, USB-C, very easy to charge, very minimalistic screen, works really, really well. And uh, it screws onto your press valve so you know it's gonna hang on there very, very good. So you can put it in the backpack of your mountain bike, you can put it in your road bike bag, you can put it in your car before you need to go. It's a really, really good system. Fantic X9 Ace, I'll put a link down below on Amazon where to buy it at with a discount code. I don't get a kickback from that discount code. It's just for you guys. They sent me out this product to do a review on it, so they did send this to me out for free. 
but I really do enjoy this product, so it's very, very nice. Anyways, guys, that's going to do this for the video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.